Robert Durst was linked to three deaths. His wife, Kathy McCormick, his friend, Susan Berman, and his neighbor, Morris Black. Sam, there are more, aren't there? There are more. Okay, so number one, 16-year-old Karen Mitchell. She vanished in 1997. She was a volunteer at a homeless shelter in Eureka, California, where he had been spotted. Then there had been speculation about 18-year-old Kristen Mudaferi, who also vanished in 1997. But police say they can't find evidence. And just today, he was possibly linked to a 1971 disappearance of Lynn Schultz, a college student in Middlebury, Vermont, where he owned a health food store and dr drew i'm about to jump out of my seat with the whole insanity thing i'm sorry the guy knows the difference i'm between not talking right... about insanity but what you i'm not talking about insanity i tried defense. to get in about insanity right before i'm not this. talking about insanity i am not uh, talking about insanity okay can i'm I... talking about the Thank way you. this is being painted in terms of his neuropsychiatric status it's okay. driving me insane he knows people are psychologizing this right and this and yes wrong. he does yes he does yes he does yes he does he tries to absolutely i'm not suggesting that he doesn't not for a second. I am talking about how this is being painted so inaccurately and being assumed and taken up by the press at large. I, I, I can't get it across. This is a complicated problem. It's an opportunity to talk about a complicated problem, and it's being massively misrepresented in the way it's being presented. This guy's hearing voices and responding to them. He had brain surgery. He has esophageal cancer. Is any of that psychological? Does any of that have to do with being entitled and narcissistic? Does any of that have to do with knowing right and wrong? No, but at least we need to have an accurate conversation about what the heck this is. And what it is is something far, people are playing armchair psychologists yes. that have no business even addressing this. Judy, back me up. This is a complex situation, and people need to talk about it much more accurately. Do you agree with me? Absolutely, oh Dr. Drew. And here is the problem. Because it is so complicated, people don't know what to do with it, and that's why there's so much armchair psychology going on, because they're trying to make sense of the situation. We all, as human beings, we need to categorize. We want to understand. So instead of getting all of the information possible, they go to the easiest explanation, which is, oh, this guy's a psychopath. Like, that just term just gets thrown around without consideration to the fact that these issues that he's having in his brain are contributing to personality changes possibly are contributing mm. to thought disorder possibly this is just and, a and problem don't mean, too complicated. and judy and they do uh, not mean he's not a killer he no. may be a killer uh, he may be guilty of all these things it's so, possible but let's stop I, with the, the the spoiled brat stuff and all this this is vastly more complicated okay, than he, that he it's not as simple as a guy he should have no, gotten of course help he should have he, and like maybe he has uh, we don't guys. know we don't know Mark. Drew, I think that Mark. you and, and Judy are making wonderful points. I think it's important to have that dialogue, but I would raise two issues. Number one, both of you did not treat him. And number right. two, this happened three decades ago. So his current yep. state of mind is relevant, but I don't know how he was 30 years ago when he allegedly committed the offense for which he's being extradited is a lot more relevant, and you don't have any handle uh, I, on how his head what? was back then. I, I completely, completely agree with you. What I've been taking issue with all along is that we have this television program that mm -hmm. condemns a man in the court of public opinion, then magically there's a there is a uh, an action by the district attorney's office, magically, and it's based on a bathroom confession, which mm -hmm. is him in the condition I'm talking about. With no, the neurological no. impairment, the Did psychiatric you see the letters, impairment, Drew? the responding to internal Drew? stimuli. I'm just saying, Mark, this is what I'm talking about. You're using so a lot of big on... words, but did you see? I... Did you see the handwriting and how similar Thank it is? You. you don't need an yes, expert. Yes, it's all that very damning. Stuff to see the similarity.